This is Berchtesgaden, popular pleasure resort in the southeastern corner of Bavaria, a peaceful little settlement which, not so long ago, gave sanctuary to one of the most martial characters in the history of mankind. Secluded in a mountain retreat overlooking this beautiful valley, he dreamed of conquering the great world outside, but the great world eventually conquered him. His mountain retreat has been burned to ashes, and only the scenic grandeur of his favorite haunts lives on, serenely indifferent to the memory of his unmentionable name. We are now enjoying a boat ride on the Königsee, located a short distance from Berchtesgaden, and regarded as the most attractive body of water in the Bavarian Alps. This was a favorite rendezvous for American soldiers who were stationed near here during the period of occupation. Ludwig II, the so-called Mad King of Bavaria, frequently visited the Königsee, and it was at his command that this picturesque edifice was built to be used as a hunting lodge for him and his friends. But it has since been converted into the church of St. Bartholomew. Continuing our journey westward along the mountainous boundary of southern Bavaria, we passed the castle of Neuschwanstein, built by the grandson of Louis I. Although many of the early Bavarian kings were obsessed with a mania for building castles, they certainly had a talent for choosing the ideal places in which to build them. And now we behold the old world village of Mittenwald, situated on the Bavarian side of the Austrian Alps and noted for its quaint architecture and the manufacture of violins. Originally, a dense forest grew here, but most of the trees were cut down to provide building material for the town. Nevertheless, the name Mittenwald, meaning in the midst of the forest, still prevails. Life in this unique village has been affected very little by the transitions of time. Mittenwald is still a bulwark of Bavarian traditions, as evidenced by the designs on the walls of its ancient houses. This is a violin museum, housing one of the world's greatest collections of old violins. The custom of adorning the buildings with colored paintings and designs is typically Bavarian. Here we see illustrated a scene from the past when the mail coach stopped at the post inn. Although the coach and horses have vanished, the inn and the church at the foot of the street still remain exactly the same as they were painted a century ago. For over a thousand years, Bavaria has been a stronghold of Christianity, and even today, in spite of the great religious upheaval suffered by all of Germany during the leadership of the late Adolf Hitler, the people of southern Bavaria in particular still adhere to their ancient Roman Catholic faith. Agriculture in all its phases represents the chief occupation of the people and it is definitely a family affair in which the women play a most important part. And behind it all is the church, wherein is preached the infallible doctrine, by the sweat of thy brow shalt thou eat bread. Perhaps the most outstanding example of religious fervor is illustrated in the little town of Oberammergau, where every 10 years for the past four centuries, with few exceptions, there has been enacted a passion play that has become world famous. Back in 1663, the inhabitants of this little town were in the midst of a devastating plague known as the Black Death, and in gratitude for its miraculously sudden cessation, they vowed to produce a passion play every 10 years to the end of time. Unfortunately, we missed the right year by several years, but we found the town itself to be most interesting. Only bona fide residents of Oberammergau, with unimpeachable reputations, are permitted to take part in the passion play. During the long off-season interval, they work at their respective tasks and keep qualified mentally and spiritually for the great honor that has been bestowed upon them. 
For example, here is one of the players who hopes to play the part of St. Peter during the year of the next Passion Play. From Oberammergau, our road leads to the district known as the Tegernsee, another popular Bavarian resort consisting of a cluster of tiny villages around the glorious lake. The little cable car that rises to the summit of the mountainous peak which towers over the Tegernsee is noted for its safety and speed. In Bavaria, open places of public refreshment are usually established in settings surrounded by scenic grandeur. Here we have the pleasant experience of quaffing delicious Bavarian beverages and looking out on thrilling scenes like this. At the Eden Beer Garden in Bad Wiese, one of the villages of the Tegernsee, we are entertained by Bavarian dancers dressed in typical costumes. In Bavaria, beer seems to be the staff of life, and it is famous for its excellent quality. One of the most popular of the Bavarian folk dances is known as the Schuhplattler, and here it is. Another unique dance that never fails to amuse is called a Wachentanz, during which the male participants appear to take considerable punishment with hard rights and lefts to the face. But now the time has come to say, I'm prosit and farewell to beautiful Bavaria.